morning, plant fam. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is obviously not my jungle. It's my car and it is the morning, so it's kind of cold. I'm not going to lie, waiting for it to heat up. And we are heading to the gym. So I thought I would do another day in the life vlog, but today we're starting a little bit different than usual. So I rolled out of bed and went to the bathroom <laughs> and put on my gym clothes. And now we're sitting in the car waiting for it to warm up so that we can head to the gym. And I've been just like trying to be more consistent with going at least three, four times a week. It's been a struggle. I'm not going to lie. I just like haven't had a lot of energy. So I'm trying. I'm trying because going to the gym actually helps me sleep better and then I have more energy. So not going to the gym actually makes me more tired, which doesn't seem like it makes sense. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is we are going to do that and then we're going to come home and do some watering. I have to water everything in my cabinet. We're just, we're going to do the things together. So I'm going to go to the gym and make myself exhausted. And then I will be seeing you after. I don't really know what we're going to do after. I have to run a couple of errands, but um, we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, fam. So hi we're in the bathroom because i've got some plants they're new so i figured i would take you along with me while i treat them and get them put up into the greenhouse somewhere i genuinely don't even know where i'm gonna put some of these so we're gonna have to do a little bit of rearranging so i don't know let's do it Okay, so I'm using my Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. This is the concentrated version. And then I have my spray bottle. So I'm going to put in, I forget how much of this. I think it's like a tablespoon or something. Honestly, I don't measure it anymore because I know what it's supposed to look like. And dilute it with some water, and then we're gonna spray down some plants. So, this stuff is non toxic, but you still don't wanna let it sit on your skin, and you're still gonna wanna give it some ventilation and don't allow your kids or your pets around it while it's still wet because it's non-toxic but you still don't want them to eat it because it is a type of bacteria and it can technically make you sick so there is that i'm gonna fill this up with warm water not hot water warm water and uh we're gonna spray some plants Okay, so you want to make sure not to fill it up all the way because you are going to be putting this in it and that is going to take up some space. See, oh, I filled it a little too much <laughs> and it leaked. So this is a continuous sprayer. All you do is pump it. I apologize for the noise. To get the pressure built up in there and then you can just let it spray without having to continue to... Um, use a pump because I don't know about you guys but that always hurts my hands so start with some of these bigger ones all right I got my plants and I'm gonna start with this philodendron Dean McDowell from Jax's Jungle you guys would have just watched me unbox this recently the soil is really dry might be able to pull it out a little to check out the roots oh yes those are good roots you see them all right good stuff good stuff we are just gonna need to like repot it because the pot got a little bit squished but i'm not worried about that right now 
I'm gonna spray these leaves down first. Okay, that's a little on the aggressive side. So you can adjust by twisting the top here, just like any other bottle. That's a little bit better. I'm gonna get all the tops and bottoms of the leaves, or the fronts and backs rather, the stems, everything. Make sure it's fully saturated with this stuff. It's okay if some of it gets in the soil, it's not gonna harm the plant. You can actually even flush the soil with this if you wanted to. It's not really necessary for most pests, but you totally can. And that's it. I'm going to push that one aside. And then next up is my philodendron UPI. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. This one is from Ginger's Greenhouse and I love it. Absolutely love it. This one is still in moss, but you can see the roots through here. Looking, oh, you know what? That looks like soil and just moss on top actually. Now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer, there's soil under here. There's just a layer of moss on top. Maybe this is a thirstier philodendron. I actually genuinely don't know and I should probably look into it. <laughs> But same thing, I'm just gonna make sure we get every nook and cranny of these leaves. It's okay if you touch the stuff, just make sure you wash your hands when you're done. It certainly can irritate your skin. I have sensitive skin though and I, um, find that it's fine as long as I wash it off thoroughly when I'm done. So same thing here, fronts and backs of all the leaves, even these little baby leaves. Bugs can hide anywhere and I'm spraying the stems and even just the top of the moss a little bit. So that is that one. Put that aside. Next I have my gorgeous philodendron mexicanum also from Jax's jungle it is unfurling a new leaf this stuff is totally safe for your delicate plants and baby leaves i promise you i've tested it on all of the plants and i have not had any issues I do have like a full video of me doing this to all my plants a while back if you're interested i can leave it linked for you um, because that is when I experimented with like every plant. I've sprayed this on every plant in my collection. So if there is a specific plant you're curious about, um, you can check out that video. I might have it in there and then you can see for yourself that the plant was fine. So the last plant I have here from Jax's Jungle is the Hoya Polyneura Roger. I don't know, but it's really cute. I do need to repot this one as well. It's in cocoa, so it's hard for me to get it out, but you can see some of those roots looking good in there. Okay. Definitely need to repot that soon though. Same thing. Just gonna spray these kind of plants. It's a little bit easier because the leaves are smaller. Since these ones are trailing, I'm going to put them up here. Oh, this is such a terrible noise. Okay, the last one is this Alocasia heterophylla, um, also known as Dragon Breath. And I got this one at the Plant Ward up in Worcester, Massachusetts. It was on sale for 50% off of $55. So you guys would have seen me pick that up in my most recent plant shopping video. And it's got a little baby 
um, it's hard to focus this way, but it's got a little baby corm in here. So I wanted to spray this one down as well. All the new plants get the same treatment. I know I mention it a lot in my plant care videos and stuff, so I just wanted to show you guys in case it's been a while or in case you're new here and you haven't seen me do this and you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say I'm going to spray my plants down with Captain Jack's. So that is all the new plants that I have for right now that need to be sprayed. I'm going to let them sit for a little bit and then I'm going to come back over them once they've dried a little and I'm going to just kind of shower them with this. like that. And I'm going to do that a couple of times because I'm extra. <laughs> this is what I do when I have thrips or when I have another pest. Um, I don't normally go too crazy for newer plants, but I'm being very, very cautious these days because we have finally eradicated the spider bites and majority of the mealybugs from the space. So I don't want to risk anything new popping up. So there's that. Okay, so I hope that helped you understand what I mean when I say I'm spraying my plants down with Captain Jack's. And um, I'm gonna let them sit, like I said, and now I'm just gonna be really careful to make sure that my cat doesn't come in here. So I'm gonna keep the bathroom door closed, but I'm gonna keep the fan on in here to try and help circulate the air a little bit, so gonna let those sit and then we need to go and water my Hoyas so <laughs> let's go do okay that. so here's my Hoya cabinet I am still not finished repotting everything so this bottom shelf is a hot mess and a couple of plants over here are still not looking great but that's not the point the point is they need to be watered and I have been trying out this new product it's called fish shit <laughs> and it's supposed to do all of these like really cool things like help your plants grow and help with the variegation and yada yada it's literally like aquarium water it feels like it's composted fish manure so I've been trying it on my plants I've watered everything in the greenhouse with it so I figured I would water some of my Hoyas with it today as well so I already have it in this watering can and I'm gonna water a bunch of plants in here with that. And then I do have like my little squirty bottle for some of the ones in the back that are harder to reach. So let's do that. Okay fam, so another day has gone by, but I finally have repotted a bunch of my plants and sprayed everything down that needed to go back into the greenhouse. So now all I need to do is figure out where I'm going to put them all.
that's the fun part. So here are some of the plants that I need to put in here. And this is the space I'm working with. It's kind of gross. I need to clean it off. So this is what we have for now because this is where the Monstera is in her new pot. And, um, you know, we don't have a ton of room. This is where they were living. Some of the philodendrons I repotted, but they're in much bigger containers now. So hopefully with a little bit of rearranging, uh, we can figure this out. So this is what I am looking at. Not a huge difference. I put my pink princess back where she was. I tried to fit her in the corner over here, but it wasn't really quite working. I threw my jungle boogie in over here. My Dean McDowell, I don't know if it's gonna be happy here with all this bright light, but I guess we're gonna find out because I don't have anything to put it on the floor with right now and you get like either a pot or a tray or something and then I'll probably move it and I've got my bicolor hanging out over here as well not an ideal setup but this is the best I could do for now so that is my um that's my story and with all that said that is the conclusion of this plant chore video. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and maybe you learned something along the way. So if you did have fun hanging out with me, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there. You guys know the spiel. I'm tired, so I'm just gonna end it quick. I appreciate you and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!